that will represent the offense today. And we are going to go with Mr. Dobbins, he will be nice. Questions for Tori? Tori, in um, high school, were you a Carolina fan, Crimson fan? Um, in high school, uh, you know, I, I really didn't understand the rivalry because um, at Rock Hill High School, our school was divided. You know, a lot of people, you know, were Clemson, Carolina fans, but um, after I enrolled in USC, it's just it's something that's taken over, and I'm the biggest Gamecock fan out there. So after being here for a couple of years now, what have you learned about the rivalry? Is there anything about the rivalry that surprised you? Um, well, uh, one person, they sent me a message on Facebook, and um, it, it was a guy, I, I guess his father passed away, and on his tombstone, he put... I'd rather be here than at Clemson. And um, it was just it was just something that really affected me in a positive way because I was like, hey, you know, <laughs> there's a lot of bad things out there, but you know, I'm gonna go out and just play hard and enjoy it because you know this rivalry runs deep. Tori, can you tell us what kind of player Stefan Gilmore is from your opinion, how tough it is to go up against him? Um, Stefan is a, a competitor. You know, he loves to compete, and with that mentality, you know, every time the ball is in the air, he feel like he can make a play on it and keep you from, you know, getting a first down or a touchdown. So, you know, it's great working with a player of that caliber at practice because it only prepares us for game time situations. Tori, um, you guys had a lot of firsts this season. Um, what would it mean to you personally to, to get back-to-back -back wins against Clemson for the first time, in, I mean, in 40 years? Uh, it'll mean a lot because it just show that as a team we're growing and maturing, and um, you know everyone is just taking this opportunity, to, to, taking this opportunity to just go out and play football. You know something we love to do, and we just have to continue to stay focused. And our task at hand is Clemson this week. Have you heard any trash talking or anything else from any of the players? Or no, nah, you know as our team we really don't talk a lot. You know we just go out and. Just, you know, prove it with our actions and the way we play. You know, our coaches are going to do a great job of putting us in a situation to be successful, and we just have to go out and execute. Tori, a couple weeks ago you had a chance. You played Arkansas with the game in Florida meaning so much the next week. This week you play Clemson with the game the next week meaning so much. What did you learn when you played against Arkansas versus how you can put that into play this week? Um, we have zero room for error. You know, we want to go into – uh, we, we want to take it, take each game like a one game championship because every game matters. You know, we we have a a big team goal we're trying to accomplish, and for us to do that, we have to win each game. And it starts with Clemson. Tori, you, you talk about how each game matters, and it's that game that we is this kind of the ultimate test, knowing what's coming next week, that the focus on Clemson. Yeah, because it's it's going to prepare us for you know just the future and. And just us as a team, you know, a lot of fans are expecting us to come out and, and give it our all because it's the in-state rivalry game. And, uh, you know, as a player, you know, we're ready to go out and play this game. We have to continue to just work hard and practice and uh, and just have fun playing the game on Saturday. Tori straight back. Uh, there's a perception from the fans, I think, that this team struggles in cold weather. What are your thoughts on that? Uh, no, nah, we we just gotta go out and play ball. You know, the uh, equipment managers are gonna give us the equipment we need to go out and be successful. But you know, it's all a mentality. You know, we just have to go out and just be tough and play football. Tori, uh, Coach Spurrier mentioned that you know uh, the tensions in this rivalry have cooled some since the brawl several years ago. Are you friends with some folks on Clemson? And do you feel that way too? That it's not you know this it's not the rivalry isn't quite so intense. Well, uh, Jonathan Meeks, uh, the defensive back for Clemson, he's from Rock Hill, and um, you know we grew up playing against each other. I'm a few years older than him, but um, you know he's been a competitive guy. And, you know we spoke a few times, but. You know, it's all about going going out and playing football. You know, we, we may exchange a few words every now and then, but when it comes down to it, it's about winning this game on Saturday. Coach talked about this team being where it wanted to be at this point in the season and continuing to get better. With this week and then that next week, do you feel that you guys are in a position to – in the position you really wanted to be in? Uh, yeah, because we, we worked extremely hard in the off season. You know, our goal was to go undefeated. And with us taking the losses, it, it really helped us as a team because, you know, we understand how valuable each game is. And, 
you know, with the Saturday coming around the corner, we, it's just an opportunity for us to go out and, and to prove to the world that, you know, we're, we're as advertised. Sure. Over here. Uh, we were asking Coach Spurry about the difference between this team and maybe some past teams here at South Carolina. He talked about uh, the leadership abilities, not only of the older guys, but some of the younger guys, too. And he credited some of that to guys coming from programs like you did, you know, with a tradition of winning, team, winning teams and winning championships. Uh, if you don't mind, just the difference you see maybe in this year's team, how this team has come together that way uh, and has that sort of mentality. Well, it's just competing because uh, if you catch us away from the football field, you know, everyone is still competing against each other. And uh, it's contagious because everyone wants to win. You know, you know when we go against the defensive backs and one-on-one -on -one drills, if you lose, you're going to hear about it for the rest of the day. And that mentality is just – it's really propelled, propelled our team. And, you know, with us uh, going offense and defense and also doing special team drills, you know, the coaches are just doing a great job of finding ways, finding different uh, finding different practices and skills for us to just stay competitive. So, you know, I just credit the coaches and some of the guys that did come from those winning backgrounds. Just, you know, I just thank them for that. In, the, in your mind, is this – more of a together team, more of a team than maybe in the last. Year. Yeah, you know, we're we're a very close niche bunch. You know, we're just gonna we, you know, it's just love. You know, with us uh, losing Kenny McKinley, it really just brought us uh, closer together. And you know, we really appreciate the days we have because Coach Spurrier, you know, he he just uh, he showed us something on the board that you know, 18 through 23 or 24, that's when you're gonna get to play football. And you know most people live to their seventy years, seventy years old. But he's like, these are the times of your life you're really gonna remember. And that hit home for me because you know it just make me appreciate playing football and the way I can give back to the team is just giving it my all. Tori, up here. Um, I know every every game's important, but is this rivalry in your mind? Is this more important to the fans than it, than it really is to the players? I mean, it's, it seems like this is just a maybe just another game on the schedule. Um, I mean, it's very important to us, but we have to treat every game like it's a championship game. You know, it's a one-game season, and uh, we're just going to continue to work hard, and, you know, on Saturday, hopefully, we'll be victorious. Tori, do you like the color orange? Would you ever wear anything orange? Yeah, I have a few orange shirts, you know, a few polo shirts. Uh, my girlfriend thinks it looks good on me, so I got to wear it. <laughs> so, <laughs> I got to do whatever, you know, to make her happy. Tori, how different is this November compared to uh, some past Novembers around here? You know, past Novembers have been, you know, uh, a yeah. number of disappointments. Um, yeah, I guess a few seasons ago, people call it the the orange slide or the orange crush when you play Tennessee, Florida, and Clemson. And um, it's just great knowing that, you know, we've accomplished some of those goals and Clemson is the next team that's in a way of, of us uh, achieving. Um, our ninth is that eighth or ninth win? Ninth, ninth win. So, it, I mean, it's huge for us. Uh, Tori, you guys have survived a tough road environment down in Florida at night. You came pretty close to beating Auburn down there at night. And uh, no doubt the fans, the Clemson fans, will enjoy the extra uh, tailgate time Saturday before that uh, late kickoff. Um, are you, I mean, you prepared differently for a night game in a very hostile environment? Well, Coach Spurrier lets us walk around on the field the day before the game, and that that really mean that really helps us out as a player because you know you can visualize your assignment and the things you got to do, and um, you know before kickoff you're ready to play. You know you have a feel for what's going to go on, and you're ready to just go out and have fun. Do you have any ambitions to play basketball while you're here? Or are you pretty much a one sport guy at this point? Um, you know, right now I'm really focused on football, but you know, me and Coach Spurrier and Junior have, you know, discussed playing basketball and you know if the opportunity comes we'll do it. But right now we're just just trying to beat Clemson on Saturday. With it being the holiday season, what are you thankful for this time of year? Um, I'm thankful for my family and for the opportunity to play football, a game I love very much. Um, you know, it's it, 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 it really makes me feel great knowing that my mother doesn't have to, you know, take her pocketbook and reach in it to pay for my books and everything. Because when I look at the receipt of our scholarship, man, it's very expensive. And I'm just thankful for, you know, my high school coaches and the people that had a positive influence in my life to push me to get where I'm at today. Because, 
you know, I, I get to play football for fun. Can you just explain the confidence that this team playing with after the last two weeks and maybe how that's different in terms of how you guys have played in November? Uh, when you win, you just you, you pick up that swag of just, you know, wanting to be a champ and win each game. But, you know, it's not arrogance, but it's just us wanting to go out and compete and win. Do you feel that right now with this team? Um, yes. Uh, everyone is very competitive, and, you know, it's, it shows in practice. Looking back, do you, do you feel your one year of prep school was beneficial to you uh, and helped you mature as a player and as a person? How, yeah. How did it help you? Uh, it was very maturing because I think our biggest attendance at a football game was 14 people. <laughs> and, um, you know, we were playing in someone's backyard. And, you know, at the time I was like, man, I, I just, I got to get out of this place. But when I look back at it now, you know, I'm just very appreciative. You know, I, I thank the equipment managers every time they, you know, they give me my bag, you know, for my practice stuff as well as, you know, a fan that wants an autograph. You know, there's nothing to take a picture or just to show the appreciation you have for someone that, you know, adore you as a player. So I'm just very thankful and, you know, it's made me a better player. All right, with that, we'll let uh, Tori go.